Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, today is a first impressions. I'm excited because I like doing these first impression videos. Um, and I have a mirror in front of me, so if you see me looking down, I just want to make sure that I'm not doing like this. <laughs> so we are going to go ahead and first, before I show you what, I, what I'm going to be um, talking about, or you should know already because it's in my title. But um, I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with the Magic Moomy. And my um, e.l.f. hydrating primer um, is done. I completely, like, finished that. So I'm trying to finish this one up. I don't like hoarding. I don't like collecting a bunch of stuff that I'm not going to use. So once I'm done with this one, I'll be shopping for another primer. Just deciding and researching on what I should try next. Because I like going through a product and being able to enjoy the product and be able to say, hey, this is really good. This is really good. And I picked this up because Jaclyn Hill, years back, talked about it in her in one of her videos. Um, it was a drugstore kind of thing. And she said that if you didn't have, um, if you couldn't afford the Becca um, highlighting one or shimmering one, there's like a primer like that, to go ahead and pick this one up from the drugstore. This is her favorite one. So that's why I have it. Um, and it's good. So after that, we're going to go ahead... And we're gonna use the dark circle eraser because you guys know that I need to color correct my dark circles because they are dark. They are dark. And I don't do videos as much because I kind of like doing videos when I have like extra time in my day. I enjoy makeup and I like talking about makeup and sharing just what I know about makeup. And I think it's, it's a cool hobby to pick up. I do other things other than makeup, um, but when I have like time in my hand, why not, you know, I'll sit down and talk about makeup, something that I picked up, um, something that I'm enjoying. So, like the title says, it's the first impressions on the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and I picked mine up in soft beige, and I'm excited. It says light, medium, and warm. I am a light, medium complexion, and my undertone is warm yellow beige so i said let's do this so i'm nervous i'm gonna apply this and i'm gonna be using my favorite brush i think let's see what we're gonna use so let's open this up did i shake it yeah i think i shake it it's, it's watery so this is how it comes and i i've seen people just place it on their face oh it feels really nice you know, I be seeing them doing this, and then I'm like, doesn't that hurt? Because it looks hard, but this spatula thing, which I've never heard them say, like these YouTubers, is really soft. It's like a plastic. Yeah, yeah. I need a little bit more, guys, but it's because my nose has freckles. So, I need to cover it up. I have some breakouts hormones guys it's all hormones and what brush should I use should I use a Sigma flat kabuki f80 or the one I've been I can't use this one though guys because I've been using my CC cream non-stop for this so I have to use a clean brush this is clean so with this brush we stipple it oh my god it's gonna work 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 so I'm gonna die I don't work on me like no way, no way. Hmm. Can't tell you how I feel about it yet. It does smell. It smells like. Does anybody have for all your Latinas that are watching? Does anybody have a famous or not a famous but a well-known aunt that does ceramics and painting? Because I do. My favorite aunt does that. Everybody has a favorite aunt, right? And she does ceramic. She's been doing ceramic. A ceramica. That's the smell this size. And it reminds me of my childhood. You know what? I like the finish. I put a lot on, I think, though. So we're just going to bring this down. Because the CC cream, it's a CC cream, but it has full coverage. So when I use the CC cream, I see coverage other than like a natural finish. 
to my skin and even and the fact that it evens out my skin tone so this is we're just patty hmm. I can see it grabbing onto my dry patches so I think mixing this with an oil mixing this with or applying this with a hydrating primer is going to be the best way for you to um, apply this hmm don't you hate it when you're used to something you're used to a foundation and you try something new and it's not like what you expected um, I thought it's not like what I expected but hmm. does kind of does anybody why does it remind me of the make, makeup forever HD I had um, I had a sample of that First impressions, what could it be? I have a dry patch, like I have, like it's not a dry patch because if you touch it, it's really soft. But my foundation or my CC cream even does it, it'll show a little bit of a dry spot, but really, like you can't even tell. But I can tell, but this one seems to um, kind of let it show a little bit more. So, I think if I had the e.l.f. hydrating primer with this. I would have seen more of a difference, um, more smoothness with this foundation because the e.l.f. hydrating primer is really, really, really good. It's a drugstore price primer and it's for hyd like for hydration and I loved that I enjoyed it and I'm done with it. I think if I would have applied that underneath this foundation, it would, it would have worked better. There is a bit of a tackiness to it, so you have to set it. Look at that. It completely like that was it just one use and it's completely dirty so probably would have done better with this one but I don't want to mix the foundations up all right so I am gonna set it because it's tacky but before we set it I'm gonna use the <clears throat> Maybelline fit me foundation in medium okay I'm gonna use it like this because The foundation is kind of drying. I don't want to go down too much. And we're going to take the Sigma F64 concealer brush. And we are going to conceal these dark circles. I still haven't used my Real Technique sponge. Still haven't used it, guys. What are we gonna do? We've moved on. Hmm. Maybe not yet, but I haven't felt the need to use it yet. Maybe in the summer, the summer months. I have my AC on, so if you hear a little bit of a noise in this video, that's what's the noise. That is what the noise is. I'm so proper when I speak. This is definitely like <laughs> this stuff is full coverage like I'm seeing like I have a mask on like it feels like I have a mask on you know like I don't know this is way like this is full stuff yeah mm. not a foundation I would wear every day or maybe I will just use less because I kind of like painted this stuff on my face maybe I should have used less but it's definitely turning out to be a full foundation because it looks like everything's covered up and as your makeup sets on your face the better it looks so remember that 
Because when I start doing my makeup, it's like, boo, boo, boo. But when I'm done and I look in the mirror, I'm like, yes, yes. I always get a problem So lately, I have been using my E40 blending brush to add some um, setting powder on my under eyes. I don't know why I'm just, I don't know, telling you. I'm just going through some different phases. I think it's lighter on my eyes. I think that's what it is. going to clean that off like that. and I'm going to go ahead and set my face but first let me just set my eyelids with the elf blush brush because you can use the brushes however you please whatever works for you and we are going to set lightly all over you don't really have to set but I will because it's tacky so that means it can move it can um, little by little oxidize on your face so you want something that's going to set it. And there we go. What did I set it with? Let me show you. It's a mess. This translucent powder ain't no joke. This is the air spun. I'm almost done with it. Like I said, once I'm done, I'm going to go shopping for something else. But I don't want to like collect a bunch of stuff. Because like, I only have one face. So why do I, why, why do I have a collection of stuff? Like, Just keep what you need, my people. So what are we going to use for bronzing? I think I'm just going to go into the e.l.f. bronzing palette. And I'm going to pick up this shade. I have four of these e.l.f. palettes right in front of me. I am only missing the, what do you call it, the blush palette. That's the one I need. And the beautifully bare, beautifully bare one. I kind of have a collection going on. And I like that because Elf is good. And if I have a um, a blush palette, right? If I have a blush palette, then I don't need any blushes because I have like four to choose from. Every single day, I can choose from whatever blush. I have a bronzer palette. I don't need no bronzers. Like I have two or three there, and they're Elf. And they're good. So I'm good with bronzers for a while. Until they all, you know, get pan. Um, I have been doing this. Because I do have a long gated face. And when I do this, I feel like my chin appears shorter. So that is what I'm doing. So we're adding color to our face again with this bronzer palette from e.l.f. And there are different bronzers in here and they're all good. I've tried all of them. They're all good. I'm using the shimmer one on the top. My husband tells me, Te so first you go white and then you go, you know, with some color on your skin. Like, what the heck are you doing? But men don't understand. Men don't understand that we need this. <laughs> you know, we need this. I think it's fun. You know, everything with moderation. And even if you want to have fun, it's not wild with colors. Why not? So we have created some color. 
but we have put some color back. This video is going to be long. Y'all know when I bronze, it takes a couple minutes. And I'm going to go in with this color right here. It's a little more of a cooler shade. contour my nose just a little bit. done with that so we put this bronzer palette away and we are going to go ahead what am I gonna do next oh, I was gonna use this and I forgot it's the NYC the sunny bronzer but that'll be another time another occasion so we're gonna go in I'm gonna do um, a eye quick eye look um, something that I've been using or what I've been doing every day um, that I've been liking oh I'm see, picking up this shade from the Kat Von D shade and light eye contour palette so I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette that I'm going to be retiring soon because I want to try the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. So, I'll be saying goodbye soon. So I do that. I take back the E40 brush, blending brush, and I go into this color right here. We're just going to blend. And I go out a little bit. Using the Sigma 55. We all have a favorite bra. Brow. I don't know what's wrong with me. Whenever, whenever I want to talk about my brows, this is my favorite. That one's definitely, I think it's my favorite out of the pair. Okay, so we highlight that. And then I take my Sigma E30 pencil, E40, and I'll pick up this shade. I've been enjoying that shade a lot lately, so.
and I use that to give my eye some definition and a pop of color. And I connect it. There and bring it in a bit, a little bit. Ooh. This is something good to try if you have. like lines underneath your eyes. This hides in really well. Okay. So that's what I've been doing. That has been what I've been doing. You know what? I'm going to add a little bit more of that peach shade. I feel like I need a little bit more. But this is what I've been doing every day. I enjoy this these colors on my eyes. I think it looks pretty. I'm gonna pick up this elf and then brush if I can find it because I got so many brushes. Like this. After we're done with that, we are going to do our mascara. And I've been using this nonstop since I got it from um, Influencer for free. It's part of a, a review. So I got it. And ever since I did that impressions video with you guys, I haven't looked back. I haven't picked up any other of my mascaras. The Big Shot mascara is still there. It's probably drying out. And my that sensational for Maybelline is it Maybelline I believe it is yeah I haven't picked that up either they're just like non-existent for me since I picked up this mascara um what do I like about the mascara it's easy it's like it grabs each and every one of your lashes I love it you see that? It's like I really like it. It like it's just a huge difference, and I like mascaras that do that. But I've never used a mascara where I felt like it took little effort, easy to build up and it grabs each and every one of your lashes like really good it's very light I mean if you haven't tried um, tried out this mascara you need to pick it up you really do because you are missing out on a really good mascara love it and then we're gonna do our bottom ones I think the hardest part about putting your makeup on is your lower lashes yeah this foundation Use a light hand when you wear it, when you use it. Just a light hand, don't put too much like I did. I'm gonna keep trying it out though, because it's really pretty. Like I look at you and I look at the um, mirror in front of me and it's really, really pretty on the skin. But as you get closer, 
it, it clings to your dry patches. So I think if you use a little bit and you use a hydrating primer, or at least if you moisturize extra before you put this on, it'll work great. And I have no problem with doing extra moisture um, at all because I love moisturizers. I love my skincare. So for me, I have no problem with that. So the next time I apply this foundation, I am going to um, do an extra moisture and um, use my Magic Lumi because I'm trying to get you know get through that but I'm definitely gonna do an extra moisture like you put one layer of moisturizer wait like five minutes and then be right before you apply your your foundation you add another layer of uh, moisturizer so this is what the mascara this is the mascara that is the brush and it's bomb so good okay so now we're gonna do blush and I have been enjoying let me see if I can find it because I know I pulled it out the Kate Moss peach pink Kate Moss no Kate Moss we do Kate Moss isn't she like a model this is um Elizabeth Elizabeth Mott show me your cheeks blush and it's in peach pink Um, I am absolutely in love with this blush and I got it from Ipsy when I, I was subscribed to them um, and I apply it with this powder brush from elf that I picked up in my last haul, elf haul and I dip it in there and I add some to my cheeks motions just like that and then like I always do make sure I take any access off um, and after that oh let me show you the I don't think I swatched it no I didn't swatch it I like really light blushes, so this might not. That's the way it looks. And I got my wipes with me, so I'm good. After I do that, I am going to use the Illuminating Mist and Set from e.l.f. And I gotta tell you guys, I don't like it. But until I pick up the other one, the original one, which is the one that I've been using for like three years. I'm going to keep using this one. I don't feel like it sets my makeup like the original makeup set spray from e.l.f. Um, but I need to put something on my face. I think it's just because I'm used to using a spray. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that. Like I've tried everything. Don't feel like it sets anything. I just feel like it adds like a, a luminosity to my skin, but I don't see it setting anything. But I'm giving it a chance. I'm using it because, you know, you have to just keep using things in order to know if you're going to like them or not. And I'm going to take the e.l.f. Nicely Nude Lipstick. Let me show you. This is the finished look. So what can I say about the foundation? Like I said, like I was saying during this tutorial, you need to like moisturize because um, it is it sets really quick and it's drying. Or not really drying, it's mattifying. So moisturize, use a hydrating primer, and you should have a really beautiful finished look on the skin. Um, but I think it reminds me of the makeup forever it really does remind me of that it the effect that it leaves just that the makeup forever is not as drying and it doesn't catch on to any like patches that you might have so thank you again for tuning into my channel um i do have more videos that i will be posting 
later this week um so thanks again like and subscribe if you haven't already and have a blessed day bye